Hey everybody, day 45, Math with Grandma. We're going to read some of this book here each day for a few days. It's the official m and book of the millennium. And the millennium was a big deal when your parents and Uncle Peter were in little guy's school because it was going to turn from the year 1999 to the year 2000. It was a big deal, but that's already 23 years ago. But the millennium thought that there were going to be all kinds of special things that happened, and thankfully, none of the bad things we thought were going to happen, happened. But the year 2000 was kind of a big deal. It was all about telling time. Grandma has a sundial out in her front yard, and we use the sun to tell time. Everyone is excited about the next millennium, getting ready to celebrate. Millennium is an amount of time, a big amount of time. Before people, there were no days, weeks, months, or years. Then people came along and needed to measure time, and we've been doing it ever since. Some small amounts of time were easy to decide on and understand. A day was the time from when one sunrise or sunset to the next, the time between marked days. It became what we now call a week. Months changed with the return of, of the new moon. A year, usually this was the time from one spring to the next, from one fall to the next, or in Egypt, from one flood to the next. Time, words, and numbers. People have often needed to keep track of longer amounts of time, too, and invented words for them. Today we call 10 years a decade. A person who is 10 years old is one decade old. A century is 10 decades or 100 years, and we say 1,000 years is a millennium. These words have roots in other languages. Decade comes from the word deca, meaning 10, Century and millennium come from the Romans who spoke Latin, centuria meaning a group of 100, and mil meaning 1,000. We also borrowed something else from the Romans, Roman numerals. Sometimes they are still carved into cornerstones of public buildings to mark the year they were built. MM, like an M&M, &M, is what we say for a millennium or a thousand move from a thousand to the two thousands. MM is a tidy way to write the year 2000, but Roman numerals are not always tidy. It's Greek to me. Actually, it's Roman. M for a thousand. Well, for eight, a B is five and three ones makes eight. For 80, three X's make 10, and an L is 50, so 50, 60, 70, 80. D is 500, CCC or each 100, so 500, 600, 700, 800, 1,888. That's a lot of carving to write 1888. An I, in Roman numerals, means one. A V means five. An X means ten. So writing Roman numerals gets complicated. We'll read some more of that tomorrow. Elevator Magic by Stuart Jane Murphy. Illustrated by G. Brian Karras. Elevator Magic. Elevator magic. Hi, Ben. I'm glad you came to meet me. I'm all set to go, but we have to make a few stops on the way. Is it okay if I push the button?
So how many floors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure, first we have to cash a check at Farm Bank and Trust. It's two floors down from here. Mom said two floors down. What do I press? We're on 10. We have to go down to two floors. One, two. 10 minus two is eight. I think that floor eight would be the best guess. We're almost there. We'll be getting off now. I hear oinking and mooing. Farm Bank and Trust. In this bank, there's a horse, a chicken, and of course, a donkey, a pig, and even a cow. Now we have to drop off this package at Speedway Delivery. It's three floors down from here. Okay, they're on eight. Eight minus three is five. What floor should I push to go down just three? Eight minus five, three is five. Floor five is where Speedway Delivery should be. Vroom, vroom! We're finally here. That seems kind of slow. Now we're here rumbling and screeching and vroom vroom. Speedway delivery. There'll be soon be a race in this big noisy place. The cars and the trucks are ready to go. Let's make a special stop at the Hard Rock Candy Store. It's one floor down from here. They're on five. Five minus one is four. Lots of treats when we get to the floor four. The door's about to open. I can't wait to see. A lot, hear lots of twanging and banging in. Boom, hip, hip, hooray, rat-a-tat-tat. Hard rock. I'm playing lots of music. Hard rock candy store. The store is filled with sound. Bright lights has been around. A rock band is starting to play just for me. Here's your treat. Now we're all set to go. We're going to meet Dad, who's on the first floor. We're on four, and Dad's on one. Four minus one is three. Three floors down. From floor four to floor one. It's three floors for me. Almost there now. We'll be on our way. Now I hear honking and beeping it. Beep, 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 beep. Honk, honk. What a great time I've had. I can't wait to tell Dad. My elevator ride was like magic today. Elevator magic. 